everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a pretty big haul, you guys, a shopping haul. I have been buying things over the last few weeks and saving them back uh, because I knew that I would want to show you a lot of these after I got my home tour up my Christmas stuff. Some of the things that I'm going to show you are Christmassy. Uh, and I'm going to explain as I started to in my last video, but I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to be doing to uh, my Christmas decor that will be on this side of the house for this year for, uh, for 2020's Christmas. We are going to make it look pretty and festive and wonderful in here because we need to look at pretty and festive and wonderful, don't we? <laughs> After the year we've all had, huh? So, my haul will be from these places, uh, PerpetualRibbons.com, Walmart, Clinique, Hobby Lobby, Paper Mart, and Amazon. I think I have everything. And, but first, before I get started hauling, I want to show you a beautiful, and read to you a beautiful card that I got, and I don't think that she'll mind if I do this. I got a lovely card. Remember last week I shouted out Amanda Thrasher uh, for sending me that beautiful fall ribbon. Oh my goodness, I love it. And sh I shouted her out on my channel and she turned around and sent me this. I'm going to hide her address here. This beautiful card, you know, and, and look at her beautiful handwriting. She's just, she's just such a lovely lady. So let me read this to you. Thank you so much, Amanda, for sending me this thank you note. I'm sorry, I have, I'm terrible with my thank you notes. My mom would have my hide. I'm terrible with writing thank you notes. I do say thank you on here and it is from my heart. You guys, honestly. So she said, Arlen, I just wanted to say thank you once again for that sweet and awesome YouTube shout out. You are so incredible and so thoughtful for doing that. I really appreciate it. You are an awesome decorator, designer, lady inspiration, and on and on I could go. I so very much appreciate all that you do for me and your subby and your YouTubers. Uh, in case you aren't told, we love and appreciate you very much. XOXO, Amanda Thrasher. Thank you so much, Amanda, that you touched my heart, girl. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for this beautiful card. I have a box of cards that you guys sent me when I used to have my P.O. box open, and I will save that in my, in that box. I've saved that, that's a keepsake box I have. <laughs> so, all right, let's get started with this okay, haul. Okay, let's start with, uh, let's see. Let's start with Walmart. How about we start with Walmart? Uh, I went into Walmart, one, to see if they had their Christmas stuff out, which they've just started putting their Christmas stuff out. I think there's much more to come. They don't have a lot on the on the uh, shelves. In fact, I'm wondering if it's what they had left over from last year, actually, in my Walmart. Uh, but I went in there looking for, even though I do have a Clinique uh, haul coming up here, I went in looking for this CoverGirl palette. I really like some of the colors in this palette. As you all know, I have blue eyes. And I so I normally stick to this, this palette. Uh, if I add a color, you know, it's just in one place on my eye and you know, I don't, I don't often add color. I always do the same, usually the same brown and then a lighter brown and then a, you know, a little white at the eyebrow. And you can see that palette right in there of what I have on my eyes. Not that you can really tell that. But I went in looking for this. It used to be a palette of four, actually, like from, from here to here. But they've added some more to it. And I couldn't find the four palette. So I just went ahead and got this. It was $9, I think. And this will last me for a long time. So I cannot wear anything but Clinique on my like lotion and foundation on my face, uh, even blush. I have to be really careful with blush on my face because I will break out like crazy. I'm very, I have very, very, very sensitive skin. But for whatever reason, I've always been able to wear this CoverGirl eyeshadow. And so I got some CoverGirl eyeshadow, love it. Uh, and like I need more ribbon, I'm gonna be showing you a lot of ribbon in this video and like I need more ribbon, but I came across these and I was like, hello, these are really pretty. And these are each 25 feet, 25 feet of ribbon. 
I believe that's what it says. Hang on. <laughs> yes, 25 feet. And these were each $4.98. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? a pretty plaid? That is such a basic pretty plaid that you could, for a funky bow, or even just a bow by itself, wouldn't that just be lovely, y'all? So, and it's got the gold around it. And as you'll hear, I'm going to be doing my palette in this for Christmas. And this on this side of the house, it's going to be red, gold, and white and in the kitchen it kind of turns into almost well really starting with my little tree and moving over into the kitchen it kind of goes a little vintagey actually into the more pinky red if you will in places you know so I think it's going to be really pretty in here I keep trying to talk Chris into let me get a flock tree he's like no we don't need a flock tree no 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 I said but wouldn't flocked no 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 <laughs> It's all about compromise, y'all. It's all about compromise. So I'm good. I have a beautiful tree. My goodness sakes, I don't need another tree. But anyway, I got those two. And then I got just solid red. Isn't that pretty? So I thought for $4.98, for 25, yard, 25 feet, for uh, $4.98, I got, you know, just basics. Just pretty much basic. What I call basics. That I can, you know, mix into funky bows. And then I just picked up this little guy. Oh, <laughs> ain't he cute? And the red and white gingham, I, I, he will go right underneath my pencil flocked, that one is flocked tree, my pencil tree that goes right there in place of the fall tree there. And he will sit right under it or around it or in it because I've got little ornaments that are red and white gingham. And, you know, and just red and white gingham. I might have some red and white stripes and red and white gingham. All of my placemats are like the ticking, red and white ticking. So, you know, this kind of, kind of falls right into that. I just thought he was adorable. They did have him in ticking too. And I very well might go back and get some ticking. I normally don't like mixing checks and, and stripes, as I've said, in ribbon. But when it comes to little, little guys like this and sitting a little checked guy next to a little striped guy, I'm all right with that. I'm all good with that. But he was four, $4.48. I thought he was super cute. You know, my mom used to have a little, I always called it Rudolph, and I do not know what happened to that little deer. This really puts me in the mind of that little deer that I used that she used to bring out every Christmas. And you know how you look for that one ornament every year, or you look for that one decoration every year that your mom's brought out or whatever? That was the one thing that I always looked for. So when I saw this, I was like, I can't pass this up. I've got to pick this up. So I love this little guy. Little reindeer. <laughs> Little gray scarf around his neck. He's cute. So that was it. That was all I got from Walmart. And I wasn't, didn't go in there planning to get the, the, the ribbon or the little reindeer, but I did tootle through. And they have some cute stuff. I'll tell you, Walmart has some really cute stuff. You know, if you don't want to break the bank for decor, and I don't necessarily, some, sometimes I buy, you know, nicer pieces, but other times a piece like that, the little reindeer like that, that's perfect to put in with, with a, you know, a grouping, to put in a tray, to put under a tree. You know, how cute, huh? There we go with the Walmart. So let me go ahead and do Clinique next. Chris is actually the one. He came up to me. This has been like three weeks ago. He says, R, he said, I got an email from Clinique. <laughs> I said, well, you get an email from Clinique. He said, well, I always buy, he always buys my Clinique for Christmas, you know. He said, they're offering 25% off of your total purchase. And I was like, he said, you need to get yourself, do you need something? I'm like, is the school bus yellow? So... I picked myself up some stuff and this I got for free. I got, this was free with a purchase and this is a moisture surge overnight mask. So I got that for free. It was a full size. I tell you, Clinique is lovely. I'm telling you, they're, they're so good. It doesn't really smell. It's kind of odorless, which is fine with me, you know, for makeup. So that was my free gift. Uh, but let's see, I picked up some blush because I'm digging for gold with my blush and it comes this is how their you know all of their packaging looks it's very pretty very very pretty and this blush is soft pressed powder blush and uh, plum gorgeous is the the name of it plum gorgeous and here's the case 
and you push this little button and then it opens up <laughs> and comes with its own little brush. I don't keep the brush to be honest. I use my own brush, but there it is. Plum gorgeous. That's what I wear on my cheeks. I love it. Very nice packaging. Then I got just my foundation, some foundation. Comes in a little box like this. And I use super balanced makeup and my color is neutral. I'm very light complected, y'all. Uh, so I don't wear a very dark foundation, but that's my liquid foundation. And I put, I don't, I didn't buy any, but I buy the, um, oh my goodness, Dramatically Different Lotion, I believe is what it's called. It's yellow and it's in a pump, or it doesn't, I think it comes in two different sizes. I swear by that stuff. I put that stuff on my face in the morning and in the evening, and one of you just complimented me on my makeup. Today, I didn't do a whole lot to it. I've got a little pimple there. You know, the mask, acne happening. <laughs> uh, but... Thank you so much for that compliment. That was so sweet of you. I'm, I'm not getting any younger, you know? So super balanced makeup in neutral is the color, I believe. Yes, 07 neutral. Of course, you have to pick that yourself. That was, That's just my choice. Uh, some mascara, okay. and this is the kind of mascara I use all the time. This is high impact mascara in black. And I wear this all the time. Not that my eyelashes are anything to look at either, but I love this. It's not heavy, y'all, not at all. And it washes off, it's not waterproof. You know, it washes off nice, which I like. A little frustrated. They don't have the kind of eyeliner I wear all the time. Now this is the type of eyeliner I wear, which is the quick liner for eyes. Get it out and show you. They don't have, and I always, I have worn Slate, the color Slate, for years and years and years and years and years, years and years and years and years, and they don't have it anymore. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Clinique? Ugh. So I needed to pick two other colors. This one is an intense, mid, intense midnight. Well, we're going to see how this looks. I don't know. It's kind of a dark blue. It might be okay, but intense midnight. I think it's the color that's on the, you know, on the wand part. And it, it's, it's a screw up type of a contraption. And then this is a smudge brush on this side. And then I got a different color too. This one is a uh, quick liner intense, this too. And this one, the color is that color, obviously, but intense charcoal. It's kind of a gray. That's the closest thing I could find to my slate. My slate was kind of a gray blue. Then I got two of my pop lipsticks. Y'all always ask me about my lipsticks. Now these colors are new to me. I always wear raspberry pop and guess what they don't have anymore? Raspberry pop. Oh. I hope they come back with it. Uh, but anyway, I've got two two new pop colors. Here is the uh, way it looks. And this one is peppermint pop. So it's kind of, ooh, look at that. It's kind of a red. Isn't that pretty? I got a phone call. Sorry about that. A, a spam call. But anyway, isn't that a pretty red? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Peppermint pop for Christmas and all the reds for Christmas. I've got a pretty red too, but that's a little darker. That's a little deeper red. I like that. And then this one is graffiti pop. Well, ooh, that's pretty too. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's like a fuchsia in it. Isn't that pretty? That is not the color of the when I looked at the, the container, I was like, oh, or the tube. When I looked at the tube, I was like, oh boy, I don't know that I'm gonna like that, but then you roll it up and look at that, that's pretty. 
I love it. And I wear this lipstick without fail, every this type of lipstick, without fail, fail in every video that you see that I have ever done probably. I guarantee you every video. I do y'all know I have over 900 videos on my channel. I was like, are you kidding me? And I believe this is gonna go up on my fourth anniversary. Happy anniversary to me <laughs> for being on YouTube. Oh my goodness. And uh, I doubt if I'll have 28,000 subscribers by then, but I hope I do. You know, I'm, I'd, I'd like to see that 30 tick over one of these days to get, get up to 30,000. But anyway, and for, I digress. Oh my goodness. For every video I've ever put up though, I've worn this type of, of makeup the pops from Clinique and I love them. I love them. They stay on really nice and they're shiny. As you can see, they're not just matte. They're shiny. I don't have any lip gloss on top of this. This is my raspberry pop. So, okay. So that's it for my Clinique. That's all I got. And I swear by Clinique. I've worn it for, you know, like I said, 30, as long as I could afford to buy it, I've worn it, you guys. And and it is a chunk of change, it is, but to me, it's worth it because I'm not breaking out and my skin has held up pretty well over the years. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad, you know, I'm, I'm a little blotchy here and there and I'm getting a little dark spots here and there, but you know, I am aging, so, you know, what can you do? What can you do? It's all part of aging, right? They're my, they're my, I, I earned every, every wrinkle and every little spot you see. <laughs> So let me knock off Clinique off the list. Okay, now let's start talking about Christmas a little bit more. Like I said, I uh, for my staircase, I'm gonna turn around here and let you see my staircase. There's my staircase. And normally in the past, I've had pine garland strong like that is, or hung like that is hung. And in with that pine garland, I wrapped white lights and then an ornament garland that I got from Walmart many years ago. Well, they don't sell the ornament garland, or at least, well, they did the other day and they haven't for several years. And frankly, you guys, I want something different this year. I wanna change it up. It's not gonna be a complete switch out, change out of everything because I've got all, mostly all of the, of the decor I need. Uh, but I am going to switch out the ornament garland for red berries. So let me show you the red berries first that I got from Amazon. And I am extremely impressed with these berries. And I'll click up here how much they were. I'll put a flash up how much these were. Sorry. And... Each one of these is six feet long. Look at that true red, you guys. This is what I'm going for. Green garland, not flocked, <laughs> just regular green garland with these red berries. And I will use the, gar the, you know, the sprigs of the garland to just tie this right in to the green garland. And then I'm gonna make funky bows out of velvet ribbon that I'm gonna show you here in a minute at each swag point. Now, won't that be pretty? It'll be, you know, I, I like to think of this as kind of classic. This is gonna be, it's gonna be more of a classic looking design. The ornament garland kind of made it a little bit more modern, which is was, was beautiful and it was fine and I loved it and it bumped up that garland, that pine garland like you would not believe. But now I'm, I'm, I don't know, every now and again, we just like a change, right? Girls we, and guys, we just like a change, you know? So I think these are gonna be super, super, super pretty and with that pine garland. And I got, is this the way they came packaged? Like this. And they came with a, with a Sharpie, look at that. Just in case they get, you know, a little bit bumped or whatever, you can color them in. <laughs> so I've got, this is one, two, I think I have 10 of these because I knew it was, I probably won't need all 10 for the uh, garland on the staircase, but I, I might need some for the uh, bullnose spray and I might like to spread this out and around the decor a little bit more too, just to pull it, you know, into other designs and other places, even if it's just a touch 
somewhere, like in a, you know, in a centerpiece or whatever. So I am super excited about doing the staircase, redoing the staircase. I really am. Now let me go ahead and show you the ribbon. Let me, first I'm going to show you a part of Bobby's uh, haul here, but not all of it. I just want to compare two ribbons to you. This is Bobby's D. Stevens red velvet ribbon. Oh my word, you guys. This is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I've got one more. I've got two here and I've got one more coming. I bit the bullet to do one more because this is what I'm going to be making new mantle bows. And I may make a tree topper bow. I do not have a tutorial for a tree topper bow and I don't even know really how to do it. We're going to wing it. One day we'll do a tree topper bow. But I'm going to, I think I'm going to use a whole roll of this. D. Stevens. This is thick and beautiful. It's got gold on the back. Thick and gorgeous, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous ribbon. Except that this is $39 for 10 yards. And that's expensive. It is beautiful ribbon. It is worth it. But it is expensive. Very expensive. For the staircase, I got this. Now, it's very close, as you can see. Very, very close. But I could not afford to buy enough, enough of the D. Stevens ribbon to do my staircase, you guys. There's just no way that I could afford to do. I think each funky bow takes seven yards of ribbon, I believe. And I just couldn't, I mean, I'm going to do eight, eight loop funky bows and then I'm going to have two tails hanging down from each one. Each tail being, you know, pretty much a foot and a half each, something like that. So I just couldn't do it. So I ended up going to Paper Mart and I ended up buying, I, I bought 10 rolls, but they only could send me six and I've got four on back orders. Chris calculated it out for me though, cause you know, Math and I, we don't get along. We are not friends. Math and I are not friends. Don't even let Math tell you that Math is a friend of mine. Math is not a friend of mine. No, it's not. I do not care for Math in any way, shape or form. Math is mean to me. <laughs> I'm horrible at math. But anyway, he I have six rolls of this ribbon. And uh, he says I should be able to get my funky bows for the staircase out of this ribbon. I wanted the staircase bows, of course, to be made out of the same ribbon. So, but look at this. Huh? Oh, my word, did I get lucky too. So, there we go. That is going to be my staircase. I'm really looking forward to it. So I have six of these from Paper Mart. And I can't remember how much. It was still a chunk of change, but it wasn't $39. And I'll flash up here again and tell you how much it was. Uh, to redo the staircase, though, it's costing me, you know, a couple hundred dollars probably to when all is said and done. You know, to, to redo with the, with the red berries and then all the you know, all the ribbon. And that's without maybe having to redo the uh, the full nose swag. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But anyway, it's worth it to me. I haven't spent any other money on out of my paycheck. So all of my money, as I've told you all so many times, out of my paycheck goes, it gets put right back into my channel. Not that anybody cares where I spend my money. I'm not saying that, but... Anyway, so that's going to be my staircase. Won't that be pretty? I'll tell you, it will be. Uh, also from Amazon, where'd I put it? I showed you this polish the other day, this fingernail polish the other day, which is this one here, and I had the name, take a front seat or sit down in front or something like that. What was it? Sit me in the front row. <laughs> that's what it is. Sit me in the front row from Essie Couture. And this was like $12.95 for this bottle. So I got that one. And then, but I also got this color, which I think is super pretty. This is a, a kind of a purpley. Berry in love, B-E-R-R, -R, berry in love. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's different for me, but isn't that pretty? I'm going to try that. I love it. Well, obviously, I'm going to try it. I wouldn't have bought it if I wasn't going to try it. <laughs> and then I encourage you, you can find these in my Amazon uh, store. You can find the berries in my Amazon Merry Christmas store, too, by the way. Uh, and I'll give you a link for Paper Mart. Uh, and then Essie is the top coat. Please, I encourage you to get 
a top to put a top coat on after you're done a base coat first and then a top coat base coat they don't sell in the couture in the essie couture they don't sell a base coat that i've found but you can just get an essie base coat for very cheap and i think i have it linked in my amazon shop too so i wanted to tell you i got those from amazon too i've also got something cool coming from amazon that stacy told me about showed me and it is and i don't have it with me but i'll try to wear my hair like this then in the next video but it's a, a it's like a hair <laughs> i can't believe it like it's a it's a fake hair like um piece for lack of a better word that you put over your bun that makes you look like you have like a messy bun so I said, Stace, she showed me a picture of herself. I said, oh my gosh, that's so cute. She's so pretty, you guys. Stacy is so pretty. And she can pull off anything. I said, Stace, am I too old to wear something like that? She says, heck no. She says, you'd be really pretty with that in your hair. And so I ordered myself a couple. I don't know if I got the right colors. So if I can get it to work out, I'll wear it in the next video. Oh my Lord, y'all, I'll probably be scared to death <laughs> of me. But I figured, what the heck, you know? Why not try a little something different? They were $8, you guys. I got two colors. $8, $8.99, something like that. I was like, you know, we'll try it. We'll try it. So we'll see. That They're supposed to come, I don't know, sometime in the next couple of days. It was Amazon Prime. Okay, I'm yammering. Off subject, aren't I? I'm so sorry. Okay, let's go through my perpetual ribbons haul. Now, I have to say... Bobby at Perpetual Ribbons, first of all, is the most personable, the most attentive vendor that you will ever work with, you guys. I'm not even kidding you. Bobby, B-O-B-B-I. She is wonderful and has become a lovely friend of mine. And I encourage you to go to perpetualribbons.com and check out her ribbon, as I've already shown you, the, the D. Stevens Red Velvet. And I showed you in the last video and the, with this arrangement, the D. Stevens Dusty Blue, it's beautiful. Of course, she has other ribbon other than just the velvets, but she has some beautiful velvets there. Uh, if you, you know, if you don't need like massive amounts of it, like I did for my staircase, I do, I did buy three of these rolls from her. As I said, I'm going to do funky bow for two funky bows for my mantle and a, and a tree topper funky bow out of this. I hope. So right here, I have two rolls, and I have one on the way, and she said that she sent me something in with that, the silly girl. Uh, so I'll tell you about what's coming up next, which is just a Q&A, and then if whatever else comes that I'm waiting on, like the hair thing and the perpetual ribbons order, uh, you know, I'll show you in that video. But anyway, I've got two of, uh, these are 10 yards each of this beautiful, velvet ribbon and then i bought all of this ribbon this is nothing that she gave gifted me i chose to uh chose all these ribbons and i just love them i got 10 yards of this these owls aren't they pretty look at that and i thought for a funky bow let's add some you know burlapy uh you cannot go wrong with the quality of any of her ribbon. Or she'll tell you. If she doesn't think that it's the it's not as good a quality as she thought it was going to be, she'll tell you straight out, you guys. So, but this is beautiful ribbon. And won't that make a pretty bow? I have no idea. I don't even know of a place that, that I could make to put this, you guys. But I just love it. I think it's so pretty. Even for a winter, you know, uh, not necessarily Christmas, but for a winter bow somewhere. Wouldn't that be pretty? Or wouldn't a wreath? centered around all of, the, of this ribbon like that funky bow to make a wreath get one of the pretty white owls <gasps> make it on oh my goodness wouldn't that be pretty well mine's just a rolling but i love that ribbon i thought that was pretty then i got me some uh oh she sent me the backs and fronts of the d stevens <laughs> i haven't put them together you can put these on the back and the these go on the back and front of them to hold them together. Then I bought some blue ribbon for when I get back to my blue and white. I thought that was pretty. I love polka dots. Kind of, uh, you know, cobalt blue and a chambray blue. Isn't that pretty? So I got 10 yards of that from Perpetual Ribbons. Look at that. Then I got a Tis the Season 2 Be Jolly. 
and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Jingle, Rejoice, Holly Jolly, have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know the words. <laughs> I'd keep singing, but I don't know the words. Oh my goodness, I do if I started singing it, but I'm not. Anyway, so that was my perpetual, I am a dingbat today. Oh my goodness. But anyway, that's my perpetualribbons.com order. I love everything I got from her and highly encourage uh, those of you who might not have checked her out yet to go and check out Bobby at perpetualribbons.com. You will not be disappointed, trust me. Her ribbon is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Petrol ribbons. Okay, I have one more little thing. I went to, ran to uh, Hobby Lobby this morning, not for any reason other than just to walk in. And I normally just don't do that. I just don't normally just walk in willy-nilly without some kind of purpose. But I said to Chris, I said, since I'm going to the, you know, more of a red and white and I'm putting away kind of the burgundies, let me just see if they have any red and white kind of ish decor. Well, y'all, the first thing I came across, one of the first things was, remember I told you I, I, all of my table runners and table, you know, uh, placemats and stuff are red and white ticking? Look at these boxes. I could no more walk by these and not pick them up than Howl at the Moon, you guys. I'm telling you, they are really, 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 really nice. So they're metal, you can tell they're metal underneath. And I could have made these, I absolutely could have made these. These are like a white box, you know, with a little topper. Absolutely could have made them, but I love them and I thought I'm getting them. And everything's 50% off already, $24.99, 40 or 50%, whatever it is, and then $14.99. 50% off, whatever it is that they have everything off at. But underneath my, these will go underneath my big Christmas tree and I have some uh, snowmen that sit underneath there too. So for decorations, that's where they will go. So I love those. And then I got this little guy. He was $4.99. Cute, huh? Just a little resin fella. I, I don't have any place to put him. I just thought he was cute. They have one in a moose. And they have one in a snowman, I think, like this. Kind of little heavy, little resin dude. And that is enough. <laughs> but that's it, that's all, that's my whole haul, I think. I always, sometimes I'll stop and then I'll forget, I have, will have forgotten something and that just drives me crazy. But anyway, that is it, you all, for this shopping haul. Uh, next up, as I said, I have five or six questions, I believe. And so if you have more, leave them in the comments and my next video will be me answering questions. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen for the next week, you guys. <laughs> we might be in a lull here a little bit before I start decorating for Christmas. So, you know, and that's okay, that's okay. We're gonna be around, you know, and uh, keep an eye on my Facebook group and on my community post here on YouTube. and. You know, I'll do my best to keep them coming, but you know, when I, I'm not gonna, as I said before, I'm not gonna go out and buy something just to give myself something to do, you know, so that I can come on and make a video. And I know you guys have said, oh, we don't care if you just come on and talk to us. So ask me questions, I'll come on and talk to you about the questions. <laughs> and they can be dumb or whatever, you know, I don't care. So uh, I will be showing you some of my uh, decorating in my other house. Uh, coming up in the next video. One of my questions was, would you show us how you used to decorate for the holidays in that house? And I'll, I'll show you what I can, you know, in that house, so. But anyway, all right, that's it for this one. So I'm gonna hush up <laughs> now, because I have rambled and yammered enough in this one. So I hope that you guys are having a great week and uh, I hope that all is well with your health and that, uh, for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day.
day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, which I'm not sure whether it'll be later in the week or on the weekend. Uh, just one more video though, probably this week, you guys. But whatever that is, until then, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.